everyone asks what's happening in Greenland, and we put out RNS announcements at the regulatory news service, and we send shareholders letters, and we answer so far as we can any inquiries we get by email or text. But I do understand why people feel frustrated that a deal can take a long time. However, deals can take a long time, especially in a bear market where there isn't the excitement factor to make people act quickly. And we've seen that already with the Ram Resources deal from sister company Regency. In this case with Greenland, we are dealing with people who are in a different environment, different culture, use a different language, their lawyers think in a different way, and time just passes incredibly. So if anything happened to reduce our estimation of the likelihood of a deal occurring, we would come out with a correction to one of our official announcements. The fact that we don't do so means invariably and always that things are steady as she goes, proceeding along the course. So people shouldn't get distracted by what they may read in chat rooms. They shouldn't start to panic because I always say to the people who are telling me things on this, whether it's the lawyers or the other parties involved, I don't care whether the news is good or bad. I just want to be kept as up to date as possible so that I know whether there's something we ought to be telling shareholders. Now there's a lot of things that they tell me about what's going on, about people's travel plans or whether they're out of town or difficult to get hold of, whether it's only the top man who can sign this sort of thing. That can't possibly be put in an RNS or even in a shareholder letter and so I can't communicate with shareholders as often as people communicate with me. But you must believe us on this that we do make our level best efforts to keep people properly informed. Where we have any doubt at all, we talk to our nomad or, if necessary, to our lawyers.